Hey, Shalom. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. Honestly, probably will be pushing this truth in sincerity. No praise unto you, but I should mean I was shy. Okay. Uh, this is going to be a, um, um, a video regarding the custom that we had um, um, in, the, in the times of uh, 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 what we know as the ancient world. And it's a part of our law. Okay. So this is going to be dealing with um, serving other gods. And um, I might entitle this um, Jesus uh, or worshippers of Jesus. Okay, the law is going to be, the actual law, Yahweh Shai, is going to put them to death. Okay, because you got a lot of people out there that have a warped reality. They don't live in, in the realms of reality. Okay, here it is, you're, you, you're underneath a power in the so-called white man, Esau. Okay, to be specific, because white is, is too generic of a term. And it doesn't um, encompass the breadth, the fullness of this truth in that you've got families and nations, Edomites uh, and Israelites, and you've got it to where the, e the Edomites, they're in rulership right now. That's spoken about within the book of 2nd Ezra, the 6th chapter and the ninth verse, how the, how the earth was going to be in the, in the hands of the wicked in the latter times. Okay, Job, the ninth chapter and the 24th verse talks about how the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. Okay, and in them being the wicked, they have taken the scriptures and twisted the scriptures into you uh, believing that you know the, 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 men, the, the men of the Bible, the men of the scriptures look like Edomites. That's why you go to the book of Job, the ninth chapter, the 24th verse, it says, The earth is given in, into the hands of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. And also, too, if you check in the book of Numbers, I believe there's a scripture there that talks about covering and taking down the, um, the ancient um, memorials and, 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 uh, and um, you know, monuments that the ancient, uh, your predecessors had. So if you was going to go over there and overtake the Moabites, or if the Moabites had put up a, a stone or they put up a, a monument or something, I believe you wasn't supposed to be able to take that down. Okay, but Esau has gone further than that in doing what's known as iconoclasm, and he has painted his image above the images of the saints, that being the Israelites, the same people that was carried away into captivity. And um, whilst they was in captivity, they was fed what's known as what we call uh, plantation Christianity, okay? Because you got the you got the followers of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, right? The believers in Yahweh Shai Mashiach, the follow the Lord in the in, in the fullness of the scriptures, okay? Applying knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, and of course the spirit, okay? Hell is the spirit that quickeneth, okay? So the scripture tells you that in the book of Second Saint John six and sixty three, how that the, the the spirit quickeneth, right? It makes you alive, and the flesh profit if nothing. So the law. Okay, it profits you nothing because under the law, what did you get? You had death. Okay, but in the application of the spirit, you had it to where you, you became alive and you became alive into the knowledge, man. The scripture talks about how the knowledge shall set you free. Well, here's 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 the essence. Here's here's the freedom that you're going to be uh, uh, freed off of. Okay, if you're still coming into this thing. So if we go into um into Jesus, okay, Jesus Christ, all right, uh, uh, um, this is a false God right here. Okay, this is this is the, this is the, this is a false god. Okay, this is not the god. This is not the the Lord, the Jesus, or more uh, more to be specific, the Yahweh Shai of the Scriptures. Okay, right. This is not this is not the 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 the, 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 the how he looked. Okay, you go to the Book of Revelations, the um the seventh chapter. Okay, you find out pretty much that the Lord okay looked like a so called Negro. Okay, now I just wanna just humor me for I'm gonna just humor me for a second. Now I wanna uh, I, I wanna see what they what they say here. Okay, because this is gonna be contrary to what it says within the scriptures. If you go into the way of this being, basically this is a transgender god, man. Okay, this is a this is a person that allows you to be a homosexual, a person that allows you to be transgender, a person that allows you to be whatever you want, which is the motto of the rulers that be right now. Okay, the rulers that are be right now are proud. Okay, the rulers that be right now are, 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 are blasphemous. Okay, right? They 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 love themselves more than they love the most side. That's why they got they, these people underneath this whole vibration of um of of this geezer right here. Everybody's underneath the vibration of this geezer right here. All right, which is a no god. This person is gonna lead you into your own destruction because this is not the 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 the, the, the man that's spoken about within the scriptures. When you go into the scriptures and you read about how your house died, the Lord's going to return, okay? And how his characteristics was like, how he was a man of war, okay? 
and how that pretty much if you had worshipped any other gods, which goes to show you that the, how important it is to know the name of the Lord. Because if you're calling upon Jesus, okay, if you're calling upon all of these other different gods of these heathen nations, well, you're going to get the punishment spoken about within this scripture right here. That's why it was so important to, to go to the utmost uh, 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 um, essence, the utmost uh, uh, fervor. Of finding about, of finding out what what's this power that you're worshiping was was his name, man, because that was gonna be the differentiator between the other gods and the god of the Bible, man. <laughs> okay, that's an important statement. The differentiation that you have between the other gods and the the, the 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 god of the scriptures, the real living power and his son, okay, is important because when you we we're gonna read the scripture, all right, the god the gods of these world. Okay, the, the, the people that, that have created these idols and so on and so forth, all right, these idols lead nothing unto death. And within our old customs, if you was a worshipper of these idols, and if you was a, of kin, as spoken about within the book of Romans, the ninth chapter, how that uh, the Lord came for, uh, his, uh, for his kinsmen according to the flesh who are Israelites, okay, if, if you was a brother, okay, by way of flesh, an Israelite, and you went out there worshipping this geezer within, the, within an ancient custom, well, guess what? You're going to be put to death, man. Okay, so this is Deuteronomy, the, the 13th chapter on the 6th verse, it says, If thy brother, the son of thy mother, or the son of, of, of thy daughter, okay, or, 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 or wife of thy bosom, or thy friend, which is of thine own soul. Now, why does it say that, of, of, of thy own soul? If it is of, your, of the same seed, of the same spirit, okay? In other words, if it's of the same, if the, this person is of the same stock, he's an Israelite, right? Entice thee saying, let us go. Right, and serve other gods. So let's go serve this individual right here, man. Okay, and you got to get you got you got the ISUPK. They are saying that you know the you know the the name don't matter. The name don't matter. Well, guess what? Jesus is this individual. Your house is a completely different individual, man. And we could do the experiment. Okay, we've been known to do this experiment. Okay, Yaha, uh, Yaha Washai. Okay. Been known to do this experiment. That's a completely different individual. It's completely different characteristics. Okay. Now we ain't saying he looks exactly like this, and we certainly ain't worshiping this image. But this is a de depiction, a good depiction of that of what he was gonna look like when he returns, man. And he definitely, he's definitely gonna be in that state of war. Okay. Look how, look how, look how bad already uh, this entity is, man. This is a bad already entity. This is a, this is a, this is a ruler, man. This is how ruler, this is how a ruler is supposed to look like. And when we read scriptures like Revelation, the second chapter on the 25th verse, okay, how that uh, uh, he that endureth unto the end, all right, and keeping my word uh, 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 until I return, to him will I um, make him a ruler and he shall rule over the nations with a rod of iron. Well, this that's the characteristics that will do that. This guy ain't doing shit, man. Okay, this dude ain't doing shit, man. And when you put that name out there, Right of, of of Jesus, that's what you put out there. And if we was dealing with our own ancient customs, you're supposed to be put to death. Now, of course, we ain't gonna do that. The law's gonna be the one that's gonna be institution inst instituting that. Okay, the rule law's gonna be the one that's gonna be instituting that death. As it said within the book of Amos, the ninth chapter on the eighth verse, "Behold, the eyes of the Lord power upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy from off the face of the earth." We're in the sinful kingdom. And then the scripture goes on to say within the book, uh, the ninth chapter on the ninth verse, it goes to say, uh, I believe uh, um, our Lord will command our sift or the, uh, the nation of Israel from among all nations. And it goes on to say, the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. Now, what is sin? Sin is a transgression of the law. Okay. Sin is the transgression of the law. This is the law. <laughs> this is the law. Okay. The whole scriptures is law. But this is the Torah. This is the law. Okay. And saying... Okay, uh, which uh, saying, uh, uh, let us go and serve other gods, which thou has not known, nor thy fathers. This is a, uh, 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 this, this, this Jesus Giza is another God. Our forefathers never knew the name Jesus, man. That's a, oh, oh shit, that's a cut, that's a cut. Let's read that again, because that's actually another cut within the cut. <laughs> okay, and say, let us go and serve other gods, which neither thou, thou has known, uh, uh, um, thou nor thy fathers, okay? Our forefathers didn't know this Jesus individual, man. They knew Yahweh Shai, okay? Hence the name uh, Joshua, etc., etc. And how, you know, how it, certain individuals had, had those names applied to him. Because, hey, when you look in our culture, pretty much we attribute ourselves onto, because uh, uh, we're, we're likened unto the Mosai uh, in the flesh, just like how Esau is the devil in the flesh. 
So we, you know, we name things in a certain way. Okay, we push that name Yahweh and Yahweh Shai as, as 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 often as possible. That's why it's important to give, you know, that's why it's important to give honor unto that name. Okay? But this individual here, there's no way you're gonna bring out some document or some 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 uh, you can't you can't you can't mingle this scripture. Because our forefathers didn't know this name Jesus. That came about uh that, well really that's a really real inst real, real uh, 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 a recent thing. Because even when you go into English, the J and um the the J the J is a recent uh, uh, iteration within the within the um within the English uh, um language, okay. But you ain't gonna get that from my So let's let's move on. It says neither thou nor thy fathers have known. So our forefathers didn't know no Jesus. They knew Yahweh Shai, okay. Namely of uh, of of the gods of the people. This is the gods of the god of the people. He like you can be a transgender. You can be homosexual. You can do whatever you want. Do as that will. This individual pushes that. Okay, that's the individual. That's the god of this people. Okay, the of, of the gods of the people which are round about you, nigh unto thee, or far off, or right, from one end of the earth even unto the other, thou shalt not consent unto him. So when I, you, I see a name and say, says this is Jesus and this, that, and the third, you ain't supposed to listen to that. Okay, and thou shalt not consent unto him, nor hearken unto him. Neither shall thou, uh, shall thou I pity him. Okay, neither shall thou spare, uh, and neither shall thou conceal him. But thou shalt surely kill him. Thine hand shall be first upon him to put him to death, and after that, and afterwards the hand of thy people. Now we're not in our kingdom to we're not in our uh, society to do that. We're underneath this man's law. So who's going to be doing the the, the the fulfillment of the scriptures? Okay, the person that said that I came not to destroy the law but to fulfill. Yahweh said, hence the scripture that I quoted earlier, Amos the ninth chapter. Okay, oh the scripture says that though hand join in hand. The wicked shall not go all together unpunished. All of these people, all of our people, right, the Israelites are joined hand in hand with Esau, for worshiping this God, and they ain't gonna go unpunished, all right. And the end of this punishment of following this God is is is, is the scripture is is what says said within the scripture here. That's why it's so important to know what God you're worshiping and whether the name you're worshiping in Him is the true name, because if it ain't, punishment is death, man. Okay. The punishment is death. Like I said, we ain't going to be going out there, you know, uh, 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 you know, fulfilling this scripture. We can't do that. We're in Esau society. But the Lord is going to be the fulfillment of that. So hopefully that was for edification. Say, so, oh, praise unto you, Abashim Yashai. Double honesty, apostles of great millstone. And honesty, brothers, that be pushing this truth in sincerity. Shalom.